From the home of the reigning NCAA Women's National Soccer Champion, Florida State University, I'm David Peters, and this is the Open Division Lottery Draw for the 2024 NURSA National Soccer Championships. Nearly 100 teams will converge on Round Rock, Texas next month for the 30th annual NURSA National Soccer Championships presented by Percari Sweat. Coming up, we'll announce 48 teams in our Open Division Tournament field. That's 24 men's and 24 women's teams. They'll battle for a pair of national titles November 21st through 23rd. The NURSA National Soccer Championships are a featured event of the NURSA Championship Series, which is part of NURSA, the professional association for collegiate recreation programs at colleges and universities across North America. From flag football to basketball, tennis to soccer, the NURSA Championship Series pre provides premier championship experiences delivered by qualified experts within a safe and inclusive environment. This year's NURSA National Soccer Championships will once again feature two divisions, the Open Division for which we will select teams today and the Championship Division for which 48 more teams will qualify through regional tournament action coming up in the next few weeks. Let's take a look at the breakdown of teams in today's Open Division Lottery and the available bids by region. Each of our six regions receives four bids for men's teams and four bids for women's teams. For the draw, teams are placed in the region in which they played during the regular season, which may differ from the NURSA region in which the school is normally found. The first four teams drawn today from each of NURSA's six regions will be entered into the Open Division Tournament. We will then draw all of the remaining teams in the lottery process to create an ordered wait list of alternates. Teams who receive an Open Division lottery bid today and then qualify later this fall for the Championship Division will have their entry fee and registration automatically transferred over to participate in the Championship bracket and their spot in the Open Division will be made available to the team on the wait list for that region that's next in the list. Teams that received bids today that become unable to attend will also open up spots for waitlist teams. Team representatives are contacted by NURSA when spots open up. I'm joined today behind the scenes by FSU Campus Recreation staff members Noah Diasensal and Max Mitchell. And here's how the draw will work today. All teams that were entered into the draw were printed on a card, kind of like this. You can see Colorado State on the front of the card. The name's on the back so I can read it. And each team is put into a security envelope like so. There we go. Nothing on that particular envelope. On the front, on the back, it just has the division, so this for Colorado State might be women's region five, for example. We'll put all of that region and division into the basket, shuffle them up, pull it right out, show you who is the, the team, and we'll go through the draw like that. After today's draw, you can review everything that happens online on our website, including tournament news. You'll see that at nursaplay.com. There are just over 100 teams in this year's draw, 55 women's teams and 52 men's teams. And we change up order every year, so this year we'll begin in the middle of the country with the women's division and starting with region number four. Here we go in region four, there are seven teams, so that's four bids and three alternates. We'll put those into the basket here, give them a good shuffle and get going. First bid in region four for the women to Texas A&M Galveston. Followed by Texas Tech. Third bid to Arkansas. And finally, the fourth bid in women for Region 4 is Kansas State. Here's our wait list in order. It will begin with Missouri, followed by LSU, and finally, Kansas. Let's look at Region 4. Let's go to Region 5 now for the women. Here in Region 5, we have six teams, so four bids and two alternates coming out of this group. Back into the basket they go. And in Region 5, we will begin with Iowa State. Colorado. Colorado School of Mines. And Air Force. And our alternates in Region 5 are Minnesota and Arizona. All right, let's head out to the Pacific Coast now. Region number 6 for the women, seven teams here, so four bids and three alternates into the basket. And the first bid in Region 6 for the women to UCLA, followed by... UC Irvine. UC Davis. And the last bid in Region 6 to UC Santa Barbara. Alternates in Region 6. 
Cal State San Marcos. Cal Berkeley. And finally in Region 6, the last alternate is Oregon. That's a look at the women's draw in Regions 4, 5, and 6. Here's a recap. Continuing on now with the men's side of the bracket, regions four, five, and six again. And so here we are in region number four, seven teams for the men. So that's four bids and three alternates into the basket. A little shuffle there. And we'll start with Baylor. Followed by Missouri. And Arkansas. And the last bid in Region number four to Kansas. Alternates in region four will be LSU, followed by Texas Tech. And finally in region four for the men is Texas. Region five for the men has four teams, so four bids. Pretty easy, there'll be no alternates, so the teams in region five are Nebraska. Followed by Colorado and Minnesota. And finally, for the men in Region 5 is Iowa State. In Region 6, 10 total teams, so four bids and then six alternates in Region 6 here for the men. And we'll begin with Weber State. Southern Cal. Oregon, and the fourth bid in Region 6 to San Diego State. Alternates now in Region 6 include UC Santa Barbara, Cal State Fullerton, Cal Poly Pomona, Utah Valley, UCLA, and finally, the last alternate for men in Region 6, Cal State San Marcos. That's a look at the men's side for Regions 4, 5, and 6. Once again, we'll pause for a recap. The 30th Annual NURSA National Soccer Championships are presented by Percari Sweat Ion Supply Drink. For optimal hydration, replenish ions lost to sweat with Percari Sweat Electrolyte Drink. It rehydrates you faster than water. Learn more at TriPercari, that's P-O-C-A-R-I dot com. The NURSA Championship Series also thanks Paladin Sports for their support of this year's tournament officials. Paladin Sports is a leading global sportswear company that specializes in high quality, customizable team wear. See what Paladin Sports can do for you and your team online at paladin.sport. All right, the second half of the draw coming up right now, we're going to go to the East Coast. We'll start in region number one. That's the northeastern part of the country. And with that, in the women's side, we have 14 total teams, so four bids, and we'll have 10 alternates after that. Here we go on the women's side for region number one. And it begins with Vermont Villanova. Temple. And finally, the last bid in Region 1 to Syracuse. Alternates in Region 1 include Rhode Island, Northeastern, Penn, Tufts, Yukon, Penn State, 
Boston College, Boston University, Quinnipiac, and finally for the women in Region 1, it's UMass. Moving on now to region number two, where we've got seven teams in the draw this time. So seven women's teams. There we go. Four bids, three alternates for region two, beginning with James Madison, East Carolina, Virginia Tech, and the last bid in region two, UCF. Alternates, Alabama, Georgia Southern, and finally, Tampa. All right, let's go to women's region number six. 14 teams once again, so four bids and then 10 alternates. Into the basket they go. First bid for the women in Region 3 to Butler, Oakland, Illinois, and the last bid in Region number 3 to Central Michigan. And now the alternates, Dayton. Western Michigan, Miami of Ohio, Grand Valley State, Notre Dame, Cincinnati, Ohio University, Xavier, Purdue, and the last team in Region 3 for the women is Wisconsin Lacrosse. That's a look at Regions 1, 2, and 3. Here's another recap. All right, let's finish up the draw with the men, starting back in region number one. And in region one, there are 12 teams entered into the draw for the men's side. So we'll have four bids and eight alternates out of this group. Once again, into the basket. And our first selection is Penn State. Sacred Heart. Brown. And the last bid in men, region one, is UConn. Alternates now, Babson College, Fairfield, Boston College, Vermont, Quinnipiac, Penn, Boston University, and finally, SUNY Brockport. Moving over to region number two, nine teams here for the men, so four bids and five alternates into the basket. And it starts with in region number two, Alabama. James Madison. Virginia Tech. And College of Charleston. Alternates in Region 2, VCU. High Point. Wake Forest. Tampa. And finally in Region 2, it is Elon. 
One more region to go, and that is region number three here for the men, 10 teams in all, which makes four bids, six alternates into the basket. And it will start with Northeastern Illinois, Grand Valley, Cincinnati, and the last bid in Region 3 for the men to Loyola Chicago. Alternates now in Region number 3, Purdue. Illinois, John Carroll, Wisconsin Oshkosh, Xavier, and finally, Miami of Ohio. That's a look at the men's side, regions one, two, and three. We'll pause once again for a recap. And that's the draw. It's time to wrap things up with some key information for team captains and a look at this year's National Championship Tournament venue in Round Rock, Texas. For teams that received a bid today, team representatives, either club presidents or team captains, will receive an email later today, that's Wednesday, October 9th, with more information about the tournament, including team and player eligibility standards. Teams who received a bid today have until Wednesday, October the 16th, to accept their bid and start their team's registration online at Event Connect. Final team rosters are due by Wednesday, October 23rd, and enrollment verification forms are due Monday, November 18th. But teams must accept their bid and start that registration process online by Wednesday, October 16th. If your team representative does not receive that email, please visit us online at nurseaplay.com and click on Soccer to contact our staff for assistance. Regional tournament action takes place across the country in October, culminating with the national championships in Round Rock, Texas, November 21st through 23rd. Here's a look at the Round Rock Multipurpose Complex as Nurse Soccer returns to this impressive venue for the national championships. Round Rock is just north of Austin, Texas. You can see travel tips and information online at nurseaplay.com. Heading into regional play, Nurse thanks its soccer regional coordinators. The series also thanks Max Miller at Swarthmore College, Chris McAlpine at UT Dallas, Laurel Hanna at the University of Michigan, Sibby Barton. Keith Willems at Purdue, and Jessica Quadra at Syracuse. They lead dozens of NURSA members in making our soccer championship successful. And join us for a special podcast this November after the championship division is finalized, when we will reveal the teams in each pool for pool play and preview the entire field of teams for this year's NURSA National Soccer Championships. I'll be joined by my co-host and friend Marty Dempsey from the University of Florida and NURSA soccer leaders across the country to get you ready for the tournament. You can visit our website, nurseaplay.com, or follow us on social media, at NurseAchamp, for the date and time of our preview show and for coverage of tournament action all fall long. That's it for now. For the NURSA Championship Series, I'm David Peters. Good luck to our teams in regional play this fall. We hope to see many of you in Round Rock, Texas, in November for the 30th annual NURSA National Soccer Championship. This is a presentation of NURSA, leaders in collegiate recreation. <laughs>